the situation uh, within the uh, corridors of power. The ministers are uh, guests. They come for a minute and they go. The civil servants are the real rulers in the kingdom of uh, civil servants of uh, 17th Stan. They should provide the best possible advisory services and professional services to the politicians, not only tell them what they can't do, but also to tell them how, what, how they can do it. We need to restore democratic order. We want to strengthen governance, but at the same time, um, fight uh, corruption in a more efficient way. We have to decide on priorities. That doesn't mean that nothing can be done in the government. Of course, things need to be done and will be done. And alongside the action, and this is a government that performs and takes action. I can give you a lot of examples, the ILA and other things that we are moving ahead on. Alongside those things, we have to deal with the matter of manpower, personnel. Always a tendency with reform to want to do it across the entire government. And the problem is that one size fits all uh, often doesn't really fit, uh, fit anyone. So uh, we need to really tailor our reforms to uh, exactly the type of function, the type of administrative culture, the type of organizational culture we're talking about. When I look at the matter of uh, governance, I don't see where the issues are, when we're, especially where the courts are concerned. We talk about the separation of uh, powers and the contempt towards the uh, powers. I don't understand why the government governance of the government is weaker because of the uh, Supreme Court. 